is the man with the hat and the video camera Making videos for you cause he's a YouTube creator Always filming and editing scenes Ready to watch on all your screens New videos every week so please subscribe Hey, good morning. Uh, an update today about the posters that I'm giving away all through December. I've now given away over 160 and virtually everyone now has come back and given me their details so they're in the post. Hopefully you'll get them before Christmas but I'll be doing some more between Christmas and New Year then that's it. If you want to any of my posters like the uh, Roma ones, where are you? The Roma ones there or the Kings and Queens of England then you have to get them from my eBay. The link will be in the description of the video. But this actual video is to bring you up to date on my Trash to Treasure project. Now you'll see there um, some few items. This is one of my very first items. It actually is a, a stainless steel fork that I found. So I had a quick go with that. Stainless steel is quite hard actually to uh, anneal and then bend into shape. So I made a finger ring from that and it turned out quite well. I was quite happy with that. It's quite large. Um, I don't think anybody will probably buy that, but there you go. And some other projects. This is a half crown. This is a nice jeweler's cloth, by the way. It just gives a nice shine. This is a half crown. Now if I can just show you. It's turned out really quite nice but that was a very very bad condition coin so what i mean by uh, beautifully imperfect i mean most people who make this sort of thing do so from uncirculated coins or at least coins which are in excellent condition i'm doing the exact opposite and filling a new gap in the market because i find lots of coins which have been damaged either by machinery because they've been lost in the ground and subject to being hit by the plow or the occasional spade. Sometimes when I dig them up myself, I give them a mark with my spade. Um, so to find something which is not perfect and has been unloved because it's been lost and has no significance really to anyone and turning it into something again, quite beautiful, although it's imperfect. That's why I call these beautifully imperfect. So you can see the difference between that half crown and that two bob, two shillings. Um, this one's got what's called a fat tire look. And this two shillings was clearly very damaged when it came up to the ground. No one would give that a second glance, throw it into their junk bin. So to turn that into something of beauty, even though it is imperfect, I think it's, it's lovely. And I've already got an order for that one and that one, they're going off today. This one, I didn't know how I was going to turn that into anything. Can you guess what it is? You won't see anything on the outside because it was so bad. I had to use a, a tool to give that a roughened finish on the outside. It was terrible. The coin was actually uh, bent in half. So I had to straighten it. Um, it was a George V shilling. And uh, it turned out quite nicely. And I thought, I'll just see if I can put a little stone. So I drew, uh, drew a little hole. I bought some red and some light blue stones and put one in the middle and it worked quite nicely. I've not got a buyer for that one yet. I'm not particularly bothered it doesn't sell. It's quite a nice project with that one. This one was, as you can see there, a shilling, one shilling. And that's quite hard to make because it's such a small coin. Not only that, but the silver is quite vulnerable to splitting when you put it over the mandrel to make the right finger size because it's quite old um, it absorbs a lot of the moisture i have to let it dry out for a while um, so if you put it under a torch it'll just explode because there's a there's some water um, in the silver but that turned out to be quite nice you can see that one is 1899 beautiful little coin i've put some patina back on that one so you can actually see the legend on there because obviously if you're going to polish it up to be really, really nice and shiny, you know, like a, like that one, for example, you're not going to see much if it's got a legend on. So putting a patina on is a good way to bring out the legend. And this one, 
I think I've shown this one before, if not on video, then certainly on my Facebook page. But this one, I really like that. That is a Christmas gift for one of my members of my family that's not for sale. Um, she's going to use it as a thumb ring. And that's made from a pickle fork. It's nice sterling silver and a nice shiny pickle fork. You wouldn't actually believe that that was a pickle fork, would you? You can see there that the two tines of the fork, which have just been nipped together over the piece here and then soldered. I've had to learn how to do soldering as well. So I'm very pleased. That's probably my favorite piece yet, because it's so unusual. But you know, I like them all saying that. This one, again, this is a Victoria shilling, but this one was very badly damaged. Hardly any legend on it at all. Ball patches all over it. Um, it was cracked as well. Uh, was the coin. So to turn that even into a, a circle without fracturing it was quite some achievement. It took a bit of patience. I did lose two Victoria shillings, silver shillings, 1891 and 1900, I think. 1900, I made a lovely coin if I can get the date on the side but I lost them both they just completely fractured they were so fragile so to say that I've got that one and this one to work um, it took a lot of patience um, they're not the easiest projects other ring makers have told me they're not easy projects are Victoria shillings and um, I couldn't possibly go much smaller than that so really uh, that one's sold, that one's sold, that one's going to be given away as a present. At least I can keep looking at it then if I give it to a member of the family. I do like that so much. Um, oops. Um, this one, with a little blue stone. Let me get a size on that. It's a um, US 5.5. Or a UK L. Um, I think one of these has already got an interested owner. So we'll have to see what which one of these I want. I think that one is a J, is it? No, that's not a J. That's got to be. If I choose that one for them, that's got to be taken down from there to there as a J. So I'll put it on my ring reducer. I'm not sure what it looked like. Probably be a fat tire effect in a, in a miniature. That one, though, couldn't possibly go down to a J. It'd be too much. So I'll probably do that one. And that one is a P. So that one's good. And this one, I don't think anybody would buy that one. It's far too chunky. You know, you're looking for somebody with a... Between V and W for that one. And I've got somebody asked me, would I make them a ring please from a half crown? And they want a Z1. So that's going to be down to there. Z plus one and that's his wedding band finger and he wants me to make him a half crown um, as a wedding band for him because he doesn't particularly like gold very much and he wants something unusual so he was going to send me a half crown but he's given it away so thank you for being with me it's almost Christmas now so have a great Christmas a happy hunting new year and I wish you all the luck that you would wish yourself catch you later because he's a YouTube creator Filming and editing scenes Ready to watch on all your screens New videos every week So please subscribe Catch you later